Hello and welcome to the assembly. My name is Vaji and I'll be providing a basic introduction to scikit-learn, which is a library used for machine learning. So the basic idea of machine learning is we have a bunch of data and then we put that data into the machine and then we train the data through the machine. And once we train the data, we predict something. And that's what scikit-learn is all about. Now I'll write a bunch of code and then I'll explain what I'm doing after that. So what's happening here is, uh, first of all, we're importing warnings. So warnings is just an uh, added feature. We don't have to really put it. It's just there because of the Boston data set. So Boston data set has some ethical issues, some racial uh, issues, uh, if you check online, if you read a bit more about it. So uh, that's why just importing warnings to get rid of the warning message. And we're also importing the matplotlib uh, to plot the graph later where you can see the visual repre representation over here. And then we are putting the X and Y values. So X is capital, Y is small. So X just contains information. So it's just data. And Y is the actual like prices used to compare with the predicted data. Uh, as you can see here, like when we um, plot the graph, which I'll show you now, we're comparing the predictions with the predicted values. The predictions of the machine with the actual predicted values that were given. So that's in the Y axis. And uh, we're using something new, which is the K neighbors regressor, which is just a model that's built into um, the SK loan uh, or scikit loan. And uh, I will talk a bit more about this uh, once I go into scaling. And let me show you guys the graph. So the graph is pretty cl clustered over here, and here it's very scattered. And one big issue I can notice is the scaling part. So as you can see, the value is 5 to 45 over here. And then here it goes to 50. So the scaling is also not done right. So for that, we might need to add something called pipelines. So uh, I'll discuss pipelines now. So pipelines, in simple words, is just getting data together. So it's just chaining uh, different things together. So if you want something like scaling, so in this graph, as you can see, the scaling is not done. And we also want transformation to be done, which is the k-neighbors regressor. So we need to do something that involves pipelines. Uh, I'll write the code, and then I'll explain what I'm uh, doing after that. Okay, so what's happening here is uh, there's a pre-processing step, which is the standard scaler. Um, there will be a further video discussing the pre-processing steps uh, in Escalon. But um, so what standard scaler basically does uh, is it just uh, resizes the distribution values. So the mean will basically become zero and the standard deviation of it become one. In simple terms, all it does is, is standard, uh, standardizes the data set. Then uh, we uh, imported the pipeline. So the pipeline, as I said, it just uh, changed all the events that are happening. And you can add different transformation into the pip pipeline. Over here, we just wanted to scale it. So we added that. And um, the warnings, everything else remains the same. And now the only change here is instead of uh, training that part of the data, which was just uh, one part of the data, the regressor part of the data, Without the uh, standard scaler, now we are doing both of them together. So we just uh, pipe dot fit will uh, get the pipeline, which is the k uh, neighbors regressor and the standard scaler. We'll get them together and uh, it'll fit them. So we'll train that data and then make prediction based on that. Now let's see how it changes our uh, plot. So uh, as you can see from the plot, it looks way better because of the less noise. So the more the noise, the worse the uh, data uh, prediction is usually. So there's less noise. And um, now this is also been done uh, pretty well because now it starts with 10 
and uh, here we're starting with five and um, it looks pretty good now so as you can see now our plot looks pretty good the scaling is done and the regression also looks good but one thing uh, i don't know if any of you noticed but we're doing it wrong so what we're doing is we're using the same data to train and test the model and that's not something we should do so for that i've introduced a new concept which is the grid search cv uh, where like cross validation takes place so what it basically does is it takes a part of the data to train it and a part of data to test it and it makes the process a bit better now i'll be writing the code for it and then i'll explain what i'm doing Okay, so what's happening in this code is um, everything else remains the same. We had the standard scaler from before. We had the k neighbors regressor from before. But the only new thing we added is grid search CV. I already explained what grid search CV does, how it uh, the cross validation takes place, how the training and testing data uh, is separated. And it requires the estimator and uh, the parameter grid. So parameter grid is just uh, different, different things that can come from... Um, uh, the data. So uh, there's one uh, command. Command. It's this. Yeah. So this is all the set of things you can do with it. So you can change the leaf size. You can change the neighbors, the jobs, and uh, other things. Here we're focusing on neighbors because we want to find the best neighbor, uh, the best number of neighbors, and uh, it'll basically display a data frame where uh, it'll show a ranking of um, the neighbors and how uh, one, two, three, the key neighbors basically, uh, how it makes a difference and how uh, good the prediction is based on that. And uh, now we'll just run the code and show you what to do. So uh, you don't really have to focus on uh, all these things, but you do need to take a look at the model and neighbors over here. So if the neighbors, we can set any value to this we want. Uh, so here, um, let's see which is the best rank. So the rank test score we got over here is the best for uh, number three. So if we insert three over here, we'll probably get the best prediction for our uh, machine learning. Algorithm. Okay, so with this much code, I feel like we have a mature enough uh, pipeline to analyze everything. So uh, this is the pattern that should be followed usually for these problems. So we have our libraries imported over here. So all the libraries you need to just import over here. After that, you get the data set. And uh, then we have a step, which is the reproducible pipeline. So make it something that uh, you can keep adding something on. And then there's a grid search step. So you need the estimator, the parameter grid, where you can, where, which you can get from that step, which I showed you over here. What are the parameters you can work with? um and the cv over here is uh which i forgot to mention is the cross validation so the higher it is the more accurate the data is normally so it's just how many times it's going to go through uh the data and then we fit it and um, that's it for this video that's it for the video thank you for watching if you like the video please like share and subscribe and to keep up with the content uh follow us on our social media